path from day one. I believe in serving the community and it's what, what the community wants and needs and not what about a career politician wants. And that's exactly what's going on here in Bear County, career politicians, uh, individuals that have been elected over and over but have failed to yet uh, bring knowledge to the community exactly what they're doing behind closed doors. Uh, I did make history in 2017 as the first Hispanic female here in Bear County. I also chose to stand with the community and the community only, not with career politicians. And for that, I have been subjected over and over to this kind of things that you're seeing behind me right now. You have been accused of several allegations. Yes, ma'am, several um, allegations. Do you think that they're investigating you for a potential public corruption probe? I have no idea. I'm going to say no. I don't know what they're here for. I have never been officially informed of why they're here. Uh, now, I've had some officers here that have broken the law. And when I was elected, one of the things I ran on and what I heard from my constituents out there was basically, are you going to hold these officers accountable because they're taking our civil rights away on the streets every day? I said, yes, I would. And that's what I did. I came in here. I cleaned up house. We had past administration here doing a lot of um, not so ethical things. And so we went ahead and we cleaned this house up. And since taking office, since I failed to follow with the good old boy system and do not want to stand with them, and I refuse to stand with them, and then the one that speaks out, which is me, against the good old boy system and corrupt elected officials, well, then they turn around and make me look as if I'm the bad person and I'm not. This is not your first um, encounter with federal government. Uh, you have the delayed booking, the deputy, no, that's not correct. I haven't had federal encounters. Uh, actually, that officer that you're speaking about, Deputy Moreno, is currently a deputy under my administration, who I held accountable and had uh, TICO come out and do an investigation, and they found him that he did commit uh, such actions, and therefore, I had a choice to hold him again, uh, towards any kind of criminal action that I felt that was necessary at that time as the elected official. So we went ahead and went forward to the DA's office, Joe Gonzalez's office, we laid down the prosecution package, which laid there for several weeks, several months. In turn, he decided to hand it over to the Texas Rangers instead of seeking prosecution. I've also reached out to other individuals outside of Bear County who are wanting to hold these officers accountable for their actions of what they had done. So they turned around and took my cases from me and turned around and tried to use them against me to actually accuse me and my staff of doing illegal things here, which is that that's just observed. There's been there's been lawsuits, there's been mm -hmm. accusations against you. Let me correct you. What there's not a lot of lawsuits against me, ma'am. That's been going that's been going on and on. They're saying that several lawsuits have been fought against me. I have checked with my legal counsel. I don't have several lawsuits. The only ones I know currently right now it's in the federal courthouse that are filed personally against me, which is only two. Okay. So um, with all these allegations mm -hmm. going yeah. on against you, I'm sure there's voters out there and the mm -hmm. community yes. that are concerned of your right. capability of leading them. What would you tell them? I, I'm very close to my community. That's one thing. I get out, I speak with my community, I get involved with my community on a daily basis. So they get to know who I am and what I stand for. And my strong supporters are going to stand with me because I'm only doing what they've asked me to do. That means holding officers accountable, uh, coming in here, cleaning up this house. We had past administration that was sitting down for two or three hour lunches that were doing personal errands that were doing illegal stuff to the community. I have come in and I have cleaned that stuff up. But since I refuse to join that crowd of officers, this is what they've done to me behind me. So did you get a call this morning how, about this? Did you nope. show up? And no call from these, these uh, Texas Rangers or FBI. No call from them at all. You showed up and you, they just told you that they're doing an investigation. I You're not allowed on pull up. I pull up and they're already right out our window at the patrol unit. They Didn't even give me an opportunity to get off the car and say good morning. Have they uh, told you how long they might be in no. there for at this no. point? I don't know anything, ma'am. This is the thing. This has been going on for months and months where you know they've left us in limbo we've asked how are we on a criminal investigation they've told us no and then probably about a couple weeks maybe three four weeks ago they told us that we were and so it's just inconsistencies and in stories i've never had anything so three directly to told ago, to me told you that you were under they've said no and then they said yes and so we really yes know was three to four weeks ago give or take it could be probably less than that but yes ma'am and they didn't tell uh, you they didn't ask for any anything from you at that point yeah, they've asked over and over different subpoenas that they've submitted over to me from Don McGraw from the district attorney's office. 
uh, just a bunch of stuff that they were asking for. Again, you got to keep in given, mind. Have you given them? The I have been cooperative. I have given them everything, everything they've ever asked for, knowing that they improperly served me, meaning I didn't have to comply with that, but I did. I gave them everything within the office. And today, once again, I've been improperly served with several, several papers here. Uh, you know, same thing over and over again. When you're saying you've been improperly served, what are they? There is a process that must be taken place when an officer goes and serves an individual. And there's a process where return needs to be filled out and returned back to the court. I have yet to see any of these Texas Rangers before me have that form and fill it out before me as they serve me. When they told you three to four weeks ago mm -hmm. about this investigation, were you served then? I wasn't served then. These were all these documents, you were just served these this morning? I was just served a search warrant today. Today. Subpoenas, I've been getting those for, uh, gosh, several months already. Mm -hmm. But I think also this also stems from the fact that I pushed back on some video coverage that I received from some constituents where it would lead up to the top where they were taking money, uh, let's just say improperly at this point. And I won't go into further details than that. But they did interfere with my investigation and they stopped it so I wouldn't release this information out. So this is one of my investigations that I was conducting that they took. wrongfully if you would please put that in there they took it wrongfully they didn't take it rightfully as far as the investigation uh captain do you i mean chief did you have any anything okay all right yeah um guys it's do you have any more questions for me i know we're kind of all over the place the inconvenience, the inconvenience right now yes yeah, sure the inconvenience is that they put me out of my office as you see here today i have work to do behind me uh, i have complaints to make that i've been processing on uh, you name it, they've stopped my whole work. My elected officials' duties have been stopped today as well as my officers here. We have tons of paperwork that needs to go out to the community right now to be served because they paid for a service and we can't get out there and do the service that they paid for. And so here we are. So what, do you, what are they gonna tell my constituents? Because I know what I'm gonna tell them. I'm gonna tell them that these guys stopped your taxpayers' money to go on a parade here. That's what I'm gonna tell them. And I'm one of the constituents picking up documents and I can't even go in there. Because I'm being told I can't go in. I'm a voter, taxpayer. I'm a. This is my precinct. And so, when the Bear County Sheriff Judge Nelson Wolf is involved, this is corruption. Just like the district attorney, they're all connected mm -hmm. in the good old boy system. And I'm just so sick of it because every, when I, when the previous administration was here, they were planting drugs on teenagers. They would pull them over, make their profit. But they pulled someone over that they should have never pulled over. What I forgot to mention to you guys is that they pulled out of one of my administration guys from my office. They interrogated him for four hours without telling him he was under no kind of criminal investigation. Four hours of interrogation without reading his rights to him. That's a civil rights violation. There's no due process. Yet. There's no due process. You're absolutely correct. Yeah, there isn't. So what's your next step to fight the truth? The next step to fight the truth is keep pushing back. I'm not going to stop. Uh, I have not done anything illegal, nor has anyone else here has done anything illegal. I can say, though, the past administration, no, I'm not like the past administration at all. I've come here with my constituents behind me to do what they elected me to do. For the first time, there is an elected official here doing what the, con the constituents want and not what the good old boy system or the politics behind us want. One of our reporters obtained records from the Texas Commission of Law Enforcement mm -hmm. uh, that raised questions about taxpayer-funded trip to Austin in September mm -hmm. of 2007. We're not talking about that, ma'am. But I will tell. But I will tell. No, I will tell you that I did show up for class. And I do have a certification for that. Again, those are Dylan Collar's misleading stories that he's texting you right now. Yes. Okay. Mm -hmm. And you want to know about the uh, Texas uh, PICO? Do you know what that is? Texas Commission on Jail Standards. Okay. Just so you know, because these are documents I received. 